It was a railway from Southern California to Salt Lake City that put Las Vegas on the map. But what began as a simple rest stop is now an international destination. If you haven't been to Las Vegas recently, you've missed a lot. The city that never sleeps grows bigger, bolder and more exciting every year. But Vegas hasn't always been a modern marvel of epic hotels and resorts. In fact, this desolate desert has very humble roots. I recently caught up with park ranger Daniel Wassmund at the old Las Vegas Mormon fort to discover how this dusty town got all its glitter. What year was it that people first settled here and who were they? In 1855, a group of 30 Mormon pioneers were sent out here to establish a way station, a place where people could go to rest for a few days between what they called the journey of death, which was the strip of trail from Utah down to Southern California. How did they survive out here? Well, the only reason they were able to survive is because of water. This was actually a lush meadow that expanded out for hundreds of acres. So as far as you could see, you would see green grass growing. You actually wouldn't see just blank patches of dirt in this particular area. Within the walls of the fort stands the original adobe building, the old Las Vegas Mormon fort, which was built in 1855 by the first non-permanent settlers. It also houses interpretive displays and historic artifacts. The fort reflects a time gone by, but not forgotten. Not too many people know that we have the oldest building here in Las Vegas, and it still stands today. A historic landmark indeed. Vegas's reputation for good fortune and prosperity grew in 1931, when President Franklin Roosevelt announced the building of the Hoover Dam, the Great Depression project that brought jobs and opportunity to thousands. By the mid-40s, small resort hotels and casinos began to spring up out of the desert. And by 1956, the city officially welcomed tourists with the creation of the now famous sign, Welcome to Las Vegas. What do you think the people who first settled here would think if they saw Las Vegas today? Oh, I don't think they would believe it. It was only a matter of time before Vegas began to build lavish hotels and attract top name entertainment. Frank, Sammy, Alvis, all the big names played here. And 60 years later, nothing has changed. That's right, Vegas has grown into a mega tourist destination. And people from all over the world flock to this desert hotspot for out of this world experiences. From shopping to epic shows and nightlife, and even relaxing by the countless pools, it's an adult playground like no other. 